Hey, what's up you guys? This is Anthony here from Finding Our Adventure. It's finally summer and you know what that means? Your guys' house is gonna be hot as heck coming up in the next couple months. So I have four units here that we're gonna stack up next to each other and we're gonna see which one cools this room the best and test them each out over a half hour and see which one brings our temperature down below us. All right guys, I'm closing all the windows now, closing all the shades in the house so it might look a little darker in here. We're gonna start each unit from the same room and we're gonna test it for a half hour and see what the degree changes. And it's about 78 and a half in this room right now. All right, let's go ahead and start it and we'll set a timer after the compressor turns on. Okay, this thing is on, it's on high. The compressor just turned on. I'm gonna set a timer for a half an hour. There we go, half hour timer. 78 and a half degrees inside. This timer just went off. You can see our bottom temp here, 75.7. So it went down a few degrees. AC is about uh, 60 degrees here. The air blown out, so this temperature gauge is pretty accurate. The room feels a couple degrees cooler, somewhat, um, but but not super cool. And it's positional. You kind of want to sit in front of the unit, and it's not even that hot out today. All right, guys. Uh, we're gonna move on now to the Shinco 12,000 BTU unit. So this is about 25% larger. This should have more cooling capacity. And because of that, it should be a little bit louder and create a little bit more heat out of the exhaust pipe and at the outlet. Uh, so let's go ahead and test this thing out. We're gonna turn it on for a half hour and I'm gonna set my timer for once the AC compressor actually kicks on. Okay, AC compressor's on. I've set my timer, and let's see how she cools. Temperature 74.1, 74.1 on the inside temp down here. Our unit down here reads about uh, 54 degrees on the air coming out. And uh, our temperature gauges, you can see our exhaust temps were a little higher and our plug temperatures were a little higher. Uh, this unit did pretty good. It feels a little cooler in this room than it did with the 8000 BTU setup. Um, and it does feel definitely cooler. Let's move on to our biggest portable AC, the Winter 14,000 BTU. And let's go ahead and put her to the test. Okay. All right guys, now we've got the big portable behemoth. This is the Winter 14,000 BTU portable AC. We've got the temperature gauge set up inside. You can see I've got both of my tubes hooked up. This is a two tube system. I've got my intake up top, which is not wrapped in my exhaust, which is wrapped. Why do I do that? Well, you'll see that when we do temperature checks here. 
But we're gonna go ahead and turn this unit on and I'm gonna set my temperature all the way down. I'm gonna bring it all the way down. So I'm gonna wait until the compressor turns on before I start the timer. All right guys, compressor just kicked on. We'll go ahead and start our timer for a half hour. Let's see where she lands. Wow. 101.8. Feels warm. And the socket gets warm too. See the socket gets warm too. Hundred and sixteen. It's a little hot. All right guys, I'm looking at the temperature right now. It's saying about 60 degrees on the ambient here inside the machine. Timer's going off. We'll stop that. And my temperature gauge here. Bring that in. 72.72.5 degrees. So we got 72.5 on there. So what do we learn about the big industrial unit? Well, number one, the plug gets hotter, that's for sure. Number two, the exhaust gets hotter. Number three, it's quieter than the smaller portable units. And number four, it does cool better than the smaller units. But as you can see, the two tube design is cumbersome and uh, our temperature did go down a little more than normal. But again, the whole room doesn't feel ice cold per se. I, I'd want to sit in front of this unit. Um, it would cool like a 10 by 10 room if it was dark very well. But uh, let's go ahead and move on now to our fourth and final unit, the window mounted air conditioning. And let's show you just how incredible that unit really is and why it blows the best portable ACs away. Um, All right guys, last and final test here. Our room temperature has come up to ambient 78 and a half. And we're gonna run the window mounted air conditioning. But what I wanna show you is how much better these window air conditionings are. So we're gonna run the same test, 30 minutes, and we're gonna go ahead and start that right now. I'm gonna turn the unit on, set my temperature all the way down to 60, and set it to AC. The plug stays ice cold. All right guys, timer is going off here. We'll stop that for a half hour timer. It is frosty cold in this room, I'll tell you that much. Temperature reading 66.7 degrees. 66.7 degrees on that. <laughs> Temperature's only gone down one degree by the way. Uh, ambient outside temp since we've started this and uh, it's 66.7 in here right now I'm about to throw on a jacket it is ice cold in here what I will tell you is the unit gets colder air coming out of there was 50 degrees Fahrenheit and the room itself cooled down immediately so the other units took quite a while to get down to their lowest temperature this unit did it almost immediately and the room felt cold almost immediately uh, I think we got down to around 72 degrees in the room 
within 10 minutes. And then it slowly creeps down. I guarantee this thing will probably keep creeping down until the high 60s, uh, until we reach that threshold there. So uh, not only was it much more efficient, cooled a lot faster, it did it quieter. So the decibels were only around 54, 53.9. So it's the quietest unit there is on high uh, out of the four we tested. The plug itself stays absolutely cool to the touch, 75 degrees. So you're not gonna worry about popping breakers and stuff like that because the amp draw is less. And um, I mean, it just works better. It's more efficient. There's no exhaust tubes to deal with, no intake tubes to deal with. All the hot stuff stays outside the house and that's why it's so much more efficient. So uh, there's no measuring of exhaust pipe temperatures and stuff like that. So for the price, this unit just blows the portable ACs out the window. I mean, absolutely, without question, portable ACs suck compared to these window mounted units. And I own three of them, so I can say that. I have used portable ACs for years. This is my first time using a window AC and I'm in love. I mean, electric bills down, uh, productivity is up on the unit. I can cool my almost my entire house with a 15,000 BTU setup. I mean, at least my front room and living room and area like that. So it's been pretty incredible uh, using this thing and it's super efficient. And I'm gonna link all these guys in the description below so you can take a look at them all if you wanna pick one up. Price wise, the uh, the uh, window mounted AC is about 600 bucks. It's a top of the line unit with Wi-Fi control and all that good stuff. And then my uh, the portable ACs are also top of the line units. That winter unit's gonna run you around 450 to $500. The 12,000 BTU um, Shinco is gonna run you around the same 399 to 450 and then the uh, 8,000 BTU is gonna be in the 300s right now. So you can, uh, you know, you get what you pay for money-wise. You can get some cheaper versions of these. You can get $300, $400 versions of window ACs, but it's not gonna come with Wi-Fi and that sort of thing. And it'll probably be like 10 to 12,000 BTU. So, uh, you know, pick and choose what you want. Spend some money now and you'll be able to reap the rewards later. So. This has been my fun little AC test. Uh, I'm freezing right now, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm gonna go throw a jacket on. And uh, like, share, and subscribe, guys. Click on those links if you're looking at some portable ACs or window mount ACs, give me, a, give me a thumbs up. Let me know how you like the video, and we'll see you on the next adventure.